Hey everyone, are you having trouble deciding whether you should get the Neon Tetras or the Cardinal Tetras? Today I'm going to show you all the differences between these two fish and which one you should get for your aquarium. So stay tuned. Okay, so Cardinal Tetras and Neon Tetras are like the same fish. Both look so similar and they're both sold for similar prices and they both act the same in an aquarium. So this is confusing, which one should I get? Is there a better one than another? To tell the difference between Neons and Cardinal Tetras, the Cardinal Tetras will possess red going all across the lower part of their body along the side. You can see a picture here and they have just red going all across. Whereas if you look at the Neon Tetras, they're going to have red going um, halfway through the body and it'll stop. It'll be white to the rest of the way until the head um, comes. So yeah, that's a really simple way to tell the difference. It's really easy and normally they'll be labeled at a pet store, so don't worry. Neon Tetras are small, popular aquarium fish. I actually did a care guide about them, link will be above. But they're very finicky fish and they're kind of hard to please unless you can get all the tank requirements right. They are bred lots, you'll find them at all pet stores basically. Lots of big box stores as well. And they are overbred to be honest and got really unstable genetics now. So that's a sad thing. People always keep them because they're so colorful, so pretty. But now it's really hard to keep and hard to keep alive in an aquarium. So you just need to be aware of that. Whereas the Cardinal Tetras, they are actually much more hardy because you don't see them at many fish stores. You'll see them quite frequently though, but not as much as the Neon Tetras. They'll be a bit more expensive. That's because they're easier to keep. They're much more hardier and they can live a wide range of temperatures. I also did a care guide about these Tetras. So the link will just be above. Click on it after you finish watching this video. But they are they actually bring out more coloration in the aquarium because they've got more red on their body. And they also just the neon stripe, they look better at nighttime and just in an aquarium in general. They do really well in planted aquariums and they're just easier to keep. So for example, you introduce six neon tetras into an aquarium. Um, I did that once and three of them got sucked up by my internal filter in the first hour of getting them and introducing them to the aquarium. Whereas when I get Cardinal Tetras, they never get sucked up by the filters. It's kind of as if they know their way around the aquarium already, or they're used to that sort of basic setup. If you do have a really strong filter in your aquarium, Cardinal Tetras are more ideal, whereas the Neon Tetras, they prefer to be with sponge filters or box filters, any low intake filters that you can find out there. So yeah, be aware of that. And if you are getting a really big school though, probably recommend Neon Tetras as they're cheaper and they won't cost as much. Since if you'll have lots there, if, if a few die, it won't really matter too much. So yeah, that's um, a good side about the Neon Tetras. And um, they're both really compatible with other community aquarium fish. They both do great at schooling and getting along with other peaceful aquarium fish that are in your aquarium. Sometimes though, I see with my friends, their neon tetras get um, sometimes gang up on other fish like betas and they sometimes even kill them. So you just need to be careful of that. Carnals and neons are both really fast eaters as well. So if you have a planted aquarium that you want a community tank, just a school of six or 10, and you just want to get that hardier type that can live with your uh, internal filter or even your canister filter, then I recommend the carnal tetras. They'll get along really well with your aquarium fish. But if you're having a small aquarium, like a five gallon, then you can get the Neon Tetras as a, a bit smaller actually. They only grow about a centimeter smaller, but still a big difference in the aquarium hobby. They are known as a beginner fish, but to be honest, if you're a beginner, you just want to decide which one you should get. To start off with, Carnal Tetras are a way to go. And then if you're getting more advanced into the hobby, then I recommend the Neon Tetras. You could possibly start breeding them, but Carnal Tetras are a lot harder to breed. They both love the low pH though, so just remember that. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, um, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about fish and fish keeping and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.